Okay, now it's working. What the fuck? I'm so confused and frustrated. It wasn't a situation where my microphone was off or anything. Streamlabs just wasn't picking up my microphone. It was deciding to not pick up the audio from my microphone. And I'm very angry about it. <laughs> what the fuck? So, what I was saying was, um... We were gonna catch the tail end of this fucking quest because I did it over my break. Um, I'm drinking ramen A, uh, the original flavor. I'm not entirely crazy about it. Uh, I, I've had like strawberry and things like that, but like. What the fuck? I don't know what was up with my microphone. It, Streamlabs was refusing to pick it up or anything, and it was being mean. The original Ramune flavor reminds me of, um, like, a really weird childhood memory of, like, whenever I was, like, sick, my parents would give me, like, these, uh... Otter Pops or like Icy's, those long like tube things that you freeze that are full of juice. Um, but this one was like full of medicine. And it's giving me those memories. Hi, hi. I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> this stream is already scuffed and mean and I, I, I'm an EP boy and I woke up late and What could have happened? That water imp Felxy, of course. After I gave you that commission the other day. I began to get worried and went asking about the boy that went missing. Oh, that? We've got it all figured out now. The boy you heard about was just feminine. Even the missing fish was his fault. Don't worry, we'll help you get the fish back as soon as we're done with this job. Oh, sorry about that. I've been diving in the area recently. Huh? Remine? Diving? No, 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 that's not what happened at all. I've heard a completely different account. Oh. What I was told is that about a month ago, a child tied a bunch of heavy seashells onto his body and walked into this open stretch of water. He never came back. What could that be if not that water imp's work? Uh, are, uh, are you sure? One hundred percent sure. I've confirmed the account with several veteran fishermen I know. The child was only eight years old. His name was Lesko. Lesko Destray. Ruh -ruh. Wait. Lesko Destray? The little kid we're doing a little book for who's got like loneliness disease which basically means he's depressed and delusional <laughs> yeah that's the name they say the family took on the name after moving to the city from a place called stray anyway his mother is a pretty famous art dealer while his father passed away from an accident many years ago i knew it uh, i was guessing that like the kid is like for sure dead and she's just trying to like deal with the loss or some well, shit like well, naturally, that. his mother was devastated by the incident and fell terribly ill. It's said that she left the court of Fontaine. No one knows where she's gone. She up there. The grieving process is to make this book. It, it, it can't be, right? 
Let's go Destry? Zuria Destry? It, it, it must be some sort of a coincidence? Seems like we need to pay a visit to the Destry house. I'm sorry, miss. We've got to go check on something right now. Oh, I see. Well, you go on ahead. I just came to make sure that you're both all right. I'll head back then. Oh, please remember to take care. This is going to be a short stream just because it's already so scuffed and uh Just gonna do our daily stuff, um, our weekly stuff, and then chill out. Maybe even try Spiral Abyss, even though I f fucking hate Spiral Abyss. In the two years of playing this game, I have yet to 36 star the Abyss. Mostly because it's too stressful and I couldn't care less. So many bank cones. Okay. Uh Hey girl, you guys. Also Naki, let me Is know when you're back. Uh, Cause I owe him two RRs. Who are you? I have a patient here who needs quiet bed rest. Please leave us be unless you have anything urgent to report. Who's the patient? This is the residence of Zuria Destri, and I'm Jala Khan, her family doctor. What did you mean by your question just now? Who else could be my patient? Your patient should be Zuria's son, right? She told us herself that her son has contracted loneliness syndrome. She contracted loneliness syndrome, and her delusion is her son is still alive. Oh, that's sad. That's fucked up. No, you're right. Young Master Lesko did have that illness once upon a time, but he's... Well, the young master is no longer with us. Now, the Madame has come down with the same illness. Are you her friends by any chance? Inform the doctor. <sighs> so, when she had requested time to go out over the past few days, it was so she could spend them with you. Hmm. So, if I'm understanding this right, the one who's suffering from uncontrollable delusions is the Madame herself? She believes her son is still alive? Damn, that's fucked up. That is correct. When the young master disappeared, she was organizing an art exhibit that she had specifically prepared for him. But since she had to leave the house, she was unable Ooh. to see her son one last time. Ooh, that's that's painful. That might have been the trigger for her regret. Or perhaps the family's fall into loneliness and grief was inevitable as soon as the old master passed away. First the son, and then the mother. Yeah. Damn. But how could that be? She really looked like she had a handle on everything. Her smile was so lovely, and she even told us to stay optimistic. <laughs> but you're saying... It's called masking, Paimon. Depressed people do that a lot. I mean... Fuck, some of the happiest people you know could be the most depressed as well. I mean, fuck, a lot of comedians have 
depression like Robin Williams I'm still hurt by that because he, that still stings I mean fuck like putting on a brave face and masking and shit that that's like really common those actions are proof that she can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality. That too. She's probably also happy because she thinks she's gonna help her son. All the other things that she told us about her son. Were those big too? No oh, shit. No, no, my ramen is fell. <laughs> Today's cursed, I swear. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck this ramen. I'm gonna put it over here. <laughs> Today's cursed. <laughs> no, those were all real. Although, they were all things that happened before the young master left us for good. Madame's time has just never moved forward since his passing. Ah, shit. Uh, yeah, that's depressing. I see. So after her son left, she created a fantasy world where her son was still with her. She was looking for a way to cure his illness when she ran into us. So how is Zarya now? She has been in a good mood the past few days, even humming a song when she returned from her stroll. She even began discussing with me the idea of using deliberate guidance to ease the illness. It was all going well, until last night. Uh-oh. -uh. She spent a whole night staring at the shell the young master left behind, and the words that he had inscribed onto it. Then she broke down once more. I prescribed some sedatives, and she's currently resting. Damn. But, but what should we do? How can we help her? There has to be something we can do! Therapy? Don't panic, Paimon. Even though this is a devastating piece of news, we must all calm down first. What should we do? I need to think. I need to remember the old house of the hearth and the children who lived in it. Those patients. Oh. What their doctors said back then. Hi, hi. Oh. What if? Hi, I got my microphone working again for some reason. Uh, Streamlabs decided, you know what, we're not gonna pick up the microphone. For no fucking reason. So, uh, here's the RRs that you requested. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, Dr. Jalakon, have you seen a picture book? The Madame should have brought it back with her. Yeah. I also dropped my drink on myself. Yeah. I'm frustrated because I don't know why my microphone wasn't being picked up. Hmm. Are you thinking about trying the guidance therapy she talked to me about before? Well, it's worth a shot. I'll go get the book. Like, it wasn't even a situation where, like, my mic was muted and I didn't know. I just... It wasn't picking it up at all. I, I, I like, went into audacity quick and was like, Okay, it's working here. What the fuck? So I like closed everything out. I 
I fixed it, obviously, but yeah. I I, I was making all the goblin yes. noises. This is it. All the distressing goblin noises. I'll, I'll even recreate one. I'll, I'll, I'll step. I'm gonna lower the volume for a moment. That is a goblin noise I make often in distress. And I did that a lot. <laughs> That's right. If what Dr. Jalacon said was true, the past few days have been very helpful to Zuria. So we should complete this journey. We need to show her that her child has found a happy ending in the world of her dreams. I love making weird guttural sounds. Yes and no. One must first face reality before accepting it. The Madame has been crushed by her feelings of grief and can no longer bring herself to face reality. Our first priority would be to get her out of this state. True. Right. Before today, I had thought she wanted to use Thelxie's fantastic adventures to save her son. But now, I think she might need it to save herself. Yeah. Honestly, it's probably to save and, uh, remember her son. Like, a memorial type thing. Like.